Romans are obsessive about food, and recently locals in this Italian city are really digging the trapezino, a new food that's essentially a pizza pocket sandwich stuffed with classic Roman dishes. Chef Stefano Caligari, who originally gained fame and reputation for making pizza, created the trapezino in 2008. Now, with its success, he has opened the first U.S. location here in New York City. Tell me about trapezino. What is this? It's um, a corner of plain pizza. The crust is so crunchy, but the dough is very, very soft. Why make it in a triangle like that? Because I had the problem that I couldn't eat all of these uh, wonderful recipes that I'm fond of these classic Roman inside recipes, the pizza right? because I was dropping everything. <laughs> so I was thinking, how can I do? What shall yeah. I do? This shape can hold uh, all the juice for you. Oh, it's yeah, a pocket. it's a pizza pocket. Oxtail is 1,000 years. We cook in that way. That's very powerful. Uh, we were eating so it in ancient Rome, yes. and now we're eating the same yes. dish and now. It takes something like at least six hours to be cooked because it's a very hard part of the of the yeah. cow. It's the beef. I mean, yeah, it's literally the, uh, yeah, the tail. Yeah, it's a muscle, you know. Yeah. So you have to cook longly, gently. So this is the tongue one. Yes. So this is another one of the classic Roman dishes. Or? Yes, this is classic Roman. In Roma, it's very popular eating this other part of food: tripe, tongue, tail. Using every part of the animal. Yes. 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 The bread part is really nice. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. The sauce is really bright and fresh and yeah. it's really good, it's very tender. I am here to try the three different kinds of trapezino. They said that they are a combination of the most popular item, classic Roman dishes, stuffed into the pizza Bianca. They're basically pizza pocket sandwiches. So we have the oxtail one, the eggplant parm, and a chicken cacciatore, which is one of the most popular ones. I'm gonna go with the chicken first. Mm. It's a chicken cooked with rosemary, and the rosemary, it's really packed in there really huge bursts of rosemary. The chicken's super tender and soft, and the bread is crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. It's, it's interesting. Eggplant parm. Very nice and cheesy. It tastes like a classic eggplant parm. Got that funkiness of the, the Parmesan cheese and then the sweetness of the tomato sauce. If you really like a bready pizza, deep dish pan type thing where you have that bounciness within the crust, that's basically what this outside aspect is. This is the oxtail, braised for many, many hours. This is chef's favorite one, apparently. It's a dish with a lot of history in Rome. So eating this dish, you really get a taste of Roman culture uh, in a really literal sense. Just like with a chicken dish, it feels just really homey and hearty and a little bit sweet and tart from that tomato. Um, the meat is braised and really soft. The texture, it just works. These dishes take a really long time to make. It's hours and hours. And if you go sit down at a restaurant, because they're so time and labor intensive, it's going to be expensive. It's six bucks here. You can try all these different really classic dishes from Rome and Italy and get kind of a snapshot of Roman culture within a street food. So it might be a new food and calling it a pizza sandwich hybrid might sound like that, but eating it, it doesn't feel like a gimmick. This is their first US location, so they're really hoping that people will want to get a taste of Rome here. I've written about it, but I've never actually tried the food. So I enlisted the help of my buddy Dale Talday, chef, but also a huge fan of Jollibee. When I first came to...